Full time Lions TV. I'm here with me right hand man, Tony Thomas. Um, Tony, what do you make of that, mate? I think a point's a good result. I would have half time. I think it would still take a point with two and up. I would have taken a point then. We played a lot of balls in the air. It was a it was a pretty typical Mill performance. They tried to bully us, but we're not an easy team to bully. So we put a lot of pressure on them. Gregory and Morrison, when they push forward, they really do. Their, their, their back line really had a, a tough time. Ten points from from four games is decent return. But the three home game performances, we, we deserve to win all three games. And it's not often you say that about a Millwall team, but we, we dominated at home. We've won those three games. We've come here with confidence. And the, the players have got to get back on the coach full of confidence. They've kept possession at times, which we don't normally do very well. Um, and, yeah, they've got to be taking positives. Almost like one of your United-esque, the grounds are terrible. I thought we had to build seat these days. It's an unbelievable ground, shit hole. Well, if, if anyone wants a safe standing um, advertisement, that's not it, because uh, no one could see, unless you were right at the front, you couldn't see nothing. But um, to be fair, most of the Wimbledon fans probably wouldn't have wanted to see how bad their players were. They're two, they're, they're two strikers up front, put us under a lot of pressure, to yeah, be fair. Yeah. Um, Taylor and um, the, the other big, tall fella, he... Um, he he really did put us under a lot of pressure. But I thought today some of our most usually effective players didn't have their greatest of games, and I said that on my post-match. I'd say Gregory and Williams, I love them to death, but they weren't at the really two of their better games today. We struggled, I thought, without them playing well. They did, but Gregory didn't have a chance. Greg, Gregory didn't really have a chance, so um, what more could he do? Um, Thompson done enough in the midfield. Williams didn't really get in the game too much. It was a t it was a tough performance. Yeah. They put us under a lot of pressure, so we're not going to have time to do what we want to do. But we've done enough. Um, the back four, I, I still think they look solid. To be fair, they, they, they did get, they did get put under a lot of pressure, but they've done enough. If you'd have said to me that you drop Romeo out of that back four, and it would actually look better, I'd have been shocked because he's been one of our best players of the season. But you can't argue with the decision to keep him out at the moment. We've got a break now. The FA Cup transfer window is open. Who, who do you think we need to bring in? What positions? Any players in, in, in person? I don't think we need a striker when you've got Harry Smith on the bench because you, we've got strength in depth there. The centre midfield, again, I, I like Butcher coming on. I, I, I do rate Butcher quite highly. I think he's a he's a he's a big fella. He's not getting, he's not getting a lot of game time, is he? He's not because be, you're not really going to drop Williams and um, you're not going to drop Williams and Thompson. So we're quite strong there. So maybe the wing backs, but then we've got Romeo in uh, as right back. So yeah. it's all easy for us to say again. The, the, the obvious thing is left back but I, I thought Tony Craig I don't mind Craig I think uh, well today I think he'd be a goalkeeper and maybe a left-sided midfield player because obviously you know I don't rate Fergie yeah but then O'Brien's been playing there and he's yeah, been playing yeah, well no, so yeah. I would yeah I'd like a back a back up to um, Ferguson potentially but um, yeah left people singing Tony Craig's name